Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my Theory Tuition series where I'm leading you step by step through the ABRSM theory grades. There are loads of resources available to help you. If you visit my website, SharonBill.com, it's all there for you. Particularly, there are some free PDF information sheets that are available in US Letter or A4 and they'll accompany each step of this series. There's also a page which links to all of my YouTube video tutorials and you can access information about the books I've got available there to help you. So if you visit SharonBill.com, it's all there. And now we're progressing on through the Grade 1 Music Theory and Practice Workbook. So you need to have this book to hand, ready to get going on the next section. You need to have your pencil nicely sharpened. Make sure if you're using a traditional pencil, it's really sharp. It's dead important, that is. And I use a mechanical pencil just to keep things neat and tidy. You will need an eraser and you will need a rubber. So we're cracking on with section L, which is about the major scales. So do go ahead, get the PDF from my website and download sheet L, major scales. And so we're turning in your workbook to page 16. And we're looking at the scales and key signatures of C, G, D and F major. So I'm just going to pop letter L here so you know that we're referring to this sheet L all about the major scales. Before we get engrossed into the exercises in this workbook, I do recommend that you refer back to a previous video of mine where I demonstrate the construction of the major scale on the piano and it's so so easy to understand when you look at it in application on the piano keyboard so I do recommend that you uh, check out that video you'll find the link in the cards and in the description below so do just have a look at that so now let's look at the scales and key signatures of C, G, D and F major. The major scale pattern is what forms the large chunk of our structure in Western music. They're a massive part of our musical heritage and so it's a really, really foundational subject and we're going to keep coming back to this forever and ever. So it's worth just spending a little bit of time to really get to grips with this. In principle, the major scale pattern, you can see I've explained on this information sheet, it's made up as a series of tones and semitones. So you just need to remember the pattern, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. And it just so happens that on the beginning on note C, that progression of tones and semitones occurs just on the white keys. And so... You can see it's easy to see on the piano keyboard, so draw yourself a piano keyboard as well to just see those spatial relationships. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C will automatically follow that progression which makes the major scale pattern. Scale literally means step, so we're stepping up and the major scale is this particular series of tones and semitones in step. And so it's very simple to remember that 3 to 4 and 7 to 8 in the scale of that octave are your semitones. So don't forget as you're ascending it's 3 to 4, 7 to 8. But then of course by default as you reverse it will be 8 to 7 four to three don't get caught into the trap of going one two three four actually it's good eight seven six five four and so on so don't forget to reverse that pattern and then as we move on to different notes from g to g in order to make that progression of tones and semitones we need to alter a key and actually we need to alter f to f sharp to make that tone semitone pattern and so that's why we need to just remember G major requires F sharp to make the correct pattern of tones and semitones D major requires F sharps and C sharps to make that correct pattern of tones and semitones and F major requires the B to be flattened in order to make that correct pattern of tones and semitones and so we would say C major 
has no sharps and flats. G major has F sharps. D major has F sharps and C sharps. And F major has B flats. Now here, we add them as a key signature at the beginning of the music. And this differs from accidentals. If we write the sharps or flats at the beginning of a piece of music, that then means that every single F is sharpened. Not just one for that particular bar, but every single F is sharpened. And then we will be playing around the key structure of the notes that make this G major scale pattern. And so the key signature for D major is F sharps and C sharps. And that means that every single F and every single C is always sharpened unless it's cancelled by a natural sign. And so to make the F major scale pattern, we have a key signature of B flat, and that means then that every single B is flattened automatically. Notice that the position of the sharps and flats is very precise. It's always this top F in your stave. So good boys deserve football and every good boy's disc football, it always makes that top F. So again, it's still always that top F for D major, which is sharp, and now we add the C sharp, and it creates like a, a diagonal pattern, F, A, C, F, A, C. It's the highest one that you possibly can without using a ledger line. The B flat is that middle B flat, and here it's a, a line lower, and it's always placed in that particular a special um, place on the stave, and that way it's instantly recognisable, so you just glance at it and you know, after lots of um, recognition, that that is automatically the key signature for D major, so be very particular about where you place that. And really that's all the information that's required, you just need to learn these key signatures, it just takes a moment to learn them. And just remember that the pattern is 3 to 4, 7 to 8 for the semitones. That is all the information that this whole section, which is quite a long section, requires. We've just been asked to reapply that same information in lots of different ways. But nothing new outside of this information can be added because that's literally it. And so let's have a look at exercise one. We'll work through this one together. So in this scale of C major, two notes a semitone apart are shown by a bracket. Show the other two notes which are a semitone apart in the same way. And so we know that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight makes our octave, that's our scale in one octave from C to C. And we know that 3 to 4 and 7 to 8 are our semitones. So all we need to do is just show that last bracket. So now let's move on to exercise 2. The question asks us to put accidentals in front of any notes that need them to make these scales. So that's the first part of the question. Just be aware that sometimes we're asked to do more than one thing at a time. And then the second part of the question asks us to put a bracket above each pair of notes that makes a semitone. So we've two things. The first one is we need to add an appropriate accidental and then we need to show the semitones. So G major ascending. Ascending just means upwards. So G major has F sharps. If we just refer back you can just double check that until you get to know them. G major requires F sharps. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharps, your accidental that they've required is added. And then one, two, three to four, five, six, seven to eight. We'll try this next one together. So they're asking us to make this exercise into F major descending. Descending just means going downwards. And so we need to add the appropriate accidental, then we need to show the semitones. Now F major, if you refer to your sheet, tells us that we need B flat. So first of all we need to add the accidental of B flat. Now in your bass clef, remember it's good boys, so we're looking for that second line, there's our B. 
but if you're not sure you can always count upwards because we know it begins and ends on F so F G A B remember you put the flat sign first because we need to know that needs altering before we play it if we put it afterwards it's too late so there's part one of the question completed and now we just need to show the semitones remember we're coming down back now so we need to count in reverse eight to seven six five four to three if you find it too confusing to just reverse it and count backwards just count from the bottom one two three to four five six seven to eight and they can only really ask you for that same information just in lots of different ways and so have a go at these remaining three scales do refer to your information sheet to just be sure you've got the right sharps and flats that are required to make those scale patterns complete and don't forget to then add your semitone brackets. I'll leave you with that for a moment and then just re-access into the video once you've completed those three. So I'm presuming that you've had a go yourself. Don't worry if you've made some mistakes. We're only writing in pencil. We can always erase and try again. It's always better to learn by your mistakes. So part one is asking us to put the accidentals in front of any notes that need them. D major has F sharps and C sharps, so D, E, F has to be sharpened, D, E, F, G, A, B, and so also does the C. We need two sharps to make that tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone pattern. So that's part one complete. Now, the second part asks us to put the brackets, so one, two, three to four, five six seven to eight there we go it's as simple as that it's more to do with just following each question systematically if you try and do everything all at once it gets confusing just deal with one aspect of the question at a time and then you know that you're going to be accurate okay so f major we're descending now so f major requires b flats we know it goes every good boy so there's our b which needs flattening if you're struggling to jump between the clefts remember just it's got to begin and end on f so f g a b and we put the flat beforehand so that's the first part complete we've got our accidentals and now we just need to show the semitone so we can either count backwards eight to seven six five four to three two one or one two three to four five six seven to eight you can always double check and we know that a to b flat if you refer back to a previous page and just find yourself a piano keyboard to just draw one out we know that a to b flat is a semitone so we know that we've got that correct and we know that f to e is also a semitone so you can always just double check if you're not entirely convinced but really just need to count because the formula will just tell you here we go then so the last one G major so we're in the bass clef G major needs F sharps so good boys deserve football good boys deserve football there's our F sharp but if you're not sure just count up we know it must begin and end on G so G A B C D E F sharp and then we need to count upwards. We're ascending for our semitones. One, two, three to four, five, six, seven to eight. And there we go. That's that. Just before we finish this video, the first part, let's just have a little go and try and test yourself on exercise three. Just have a quick moment recapping the sharps and flats required for these key signatures. And then have a go at testing yourself try and answer them without looking up it just helps you to learn them more thoroughly and if you get a few wrong it doesn't matter you can rub it out and we'll learn from your mistakes so just press pause have a go at testing yourself and then we'll mark those together okay so let's have a look at those together now i'm hoping you didn't peep and you were brave and had a go at just trying to answer them without looking up let's just double check those answers so we have one flat it has to be a b flat which is the key signature for F major. C major is the easy one, it has no sharps or flats. 
So C major is easily recognisable. Now two sharps, there's always F sharps and C sharps, so the moment you see two sharps, you know it's always F sharps and C sharps, and that is the key signature for D major. The fact that we're in treble or bass clef is utterly irrelevant, the key signatures remain the same. One sharp will always be F sharp, so good boys deserve football, or every good boy deserves football. So we hardly even need to think about that really. So a key signature of nothing, means C major. A key signature of two sharps means D major, F sharps and C sharps. If you want to double check that every good boy does football and F A C, but it's always F C sharp. One sharp is always F sharp and that's the key signature for G major. One flat is always B flat and that's the key signature for F major. So that's made a really good start into this massive subject of major scales and the construction of the major scale. I hope that's been helpful to you. Please uh, give me a, a thumbs up, give me a like, just that would be very encouraging to me. And then um, if you can subscribe to my channel, you'll be sure to keep updated. And please do visit SharonBill.com, particularly access into those free PDF, PDF information sheets tongue twister there um, and we'll keep referring back to those lots and lots all the resources that you need you'll find there and of course do go back and just check out that video on the piano where I'm demonstrating the construction of the major scale on the piano it makes it so much more accessible to see it in practice thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye